Hey guys and welcome to the Branch Gaming Channel's first video in our classic series. Now how do we define a classic? Well it's actually pretty simple. It is any game that I played as a child because let's face it I'm old alright. Now back in back in the day as the old man um, back in the day I could play this game through in about eight minutes doing like a speed run just going as fast as I can not collecting any of the the fire like fire flowers or anything of that nature today though I'm I'll admit it man I'm out of practice I've recorded this video more times than I'm willing to admit on here okay but I've tried recording it and I just I cannot do that 8 to 10 minute speed run like I used to be able to but what I'm gonna do instead is I'm I'm gonna play it through in in pretty fast like in a pretty fast form and I'll tell you about the game a little bit on along the way but we're gonna go ahead and hit the warp the warp worlds and, and all that stuff get through the game as fast as we can while we're talking about it just to kind of give you some ideas of uh, the the original Super Mario Brothers all right that's right today we are playing an iconic console game all right a legend of legends in the gaming world Mario all right the original Super Mario Brothers from 1985 now this is actually the second game that Mario was featured in he was actually featured in a game back in 1985 or I'm sorry, back in 1981, called Donkey Kong. Now, if you want to know more about Donkey Kong, you're going to have to, like, talk to your parents and stuff like that because that was even a little bit before my time. This game, though, however, came out in about 1985. And it's a pretty big deal that, that I get to play today as Mario. All right, now, that might not seem like a big deal to you guys, but I am the baby in my family. All right, and that is significant when it comes to playing Super Mario Brothers. The reason that's significant is because, as any younger sibling in my generation knows, you never, ever get to be first player when you play Super Mario Brothers, okay? You never get to be first player. My entire childhood, I always had to be P2, okay? Player two, Luigi, never got to be Mario. I am still bitter. I have a complex. Thank you, Misty, all right? But I get to play as Mario today. I didn't get to play until, like, I did not get to play as Mario until I was in, like, college, all right? This is a big deal, and I'm sharing that with you guys here today, okay? But yeah, so we are already through world 1-1 now like i said in a speed run i'd be doing this a little bit differently i wouldn't be worrying about flowers extra lives anything like that i am going to get some of that stuff because i'm out of practice and if i don't i'm going to uh fail greatly as i have in all the previous attempts to record this video now this is one of the big tricks to doing a speed run not breaking all these bricks okay you would not break all of them but if you, oh, I messed it up, oh no. But you can actually jump up there where that flower is at, that extra life, and just speed through to the warp world, the first warp, warp world in uh, Super Mario Brothers. Now originally, this game, and, and we're gonna come right up here to the first warp zone, and we're gonna go all the way to world four here. If I can get down the tube. Come on, Mario, don't fail me. I know it's really me, okay? Okay, I know. Shut up. But, uh, so here's the thing. The funny thing is this game was originally just simply called Jumpman. But as they were preparing it for American audiences, like audiences here in the United States, they didn't think that that name would, like, would work. They just didn't think it would resonate well with the audience in the United States. So they knew they had to come up with a new name, all right? And so they called a meeting in the Nintendo U.S. offices. Oh, I thought I was, I thought I was going to die there. Whew. All right. So they called a meeting in the Nintendo U.S. office strictly to, to come up with a new name for this game and this character. And in the middle of the meeting, the landlord for their office comes into the meeting. And I don't know what he was there for or, or what the reasoning was, but, but he like interrupts this meeting. So what did they do? 
in deciding this the name of this character, they decided to name it after the landlord who barged in. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Ugh. Okay, so so this is what I have to explain. Okay, this is exactly what what I'm talking about. So now on a I'm playing this game on the Switch. All right. Now this is gonna be an excuse, but it's it's true nonetheless. Growing up playing this on the original Nintendo console, I could, like I said, I could just run through it, breeze through it. But playing it on the Switch, the controller, as you can see here, is, is quite a bit different. The buttons are spaced differently, all of that stuff. And putting it just plainly, my muscle memory is really, really suited to that original rectangle controller on the original Nintendo. So playing this game on the Switch is a little bit actually more difficult uh, just because my fingers are so used to the exact spacing between the A and B button there. So right here we're going to jump up, hit another warp zone, get all the way to world 8. But I do want to show you this, okay? This is one of my favorite things to do as a kid. If you jump off, like Mario jumps off any vine, but if you go back on it and just go to the top and keep trying to climb it, he does this little dance. It's fun. I spent way too much time in my childhood literally just watching Mario and Luigi do this, okay? But just a fun little thing. Now, I am i don't really care about collecting all the coins right now because I'm just playing through the game as fast as possible. And let's get here. Yes, there we go, World 8. So we're all, all the way to World 8 at this point. So yeah, so anyways, Mario was named after the landlord who barged into the meeting and which i just find very very funny so i want to get to the final world which is eight dash four before i share with you probably my fi oh, oh. i'm gonna leave it in i'm gonna leave it in okay because sometimes in life there are things that just that just take you down okay they just bring you down and you just have to you just have to fight through okay okay so i'm gonna leave it in there ah okay i i cannot express to you how actually frustrating this is like this should not matter to me at this point in my life but it's just you know mm -hmm. like it's just crumbling down all around me and I don't know what to do <laughs> okay and those of you who are wondering am I just putting on a show because I'm recording this I'm really not this is how I really act okay this is how I really play games so uh yeah but anyways we are in 8-1 trying to get to 8-4 hopefully we will get there and I'll be I won't have to like tuck my tail between my ugh, tuck my tail between my legs and be like sorry oh okay sorry i was just scared there all right let's go ahead and get that try to i jumped way too early why do i keep doing that oh every time mm -hmm. okay i'm on my last life and if I have to tuck my tail between my legs and admit defeat, I I will do that, okay? Like I said, this is our first video in our classic series. We'll be posting all kinds. Um, we'll definitely play through all three, or at least some of. I'm not gonna say we'll play through every game. Uh, a lot of this is just to show you guys some classic games, talk about them, give you guys some uh, you know, trivia answers in case you're ever playing Jeopardy and they ask a very specific Mario question. Well, you know, sometimes in life, it just so happens that that you you just you just you just get a game over, okay? But uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm just gonna go back and, and and redo that. Okay, this is one of the beautiful things about playing on the Switch. These classic games, you actually can like re rewind and keep going. So I'll try one more time here. 
But uh, anyways, yeah, we're just going to be playing through these classic games. And if I do not beat this game today, I'm still, we're still going to post this video. Okay. Um, it, it, even if, oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Even though I just failed epically, I was doing great too. Okay. I will, I will redeem myself. All right. But let me just tell you one other just fun, fun fact about this game. Okay. The original like Bowser, the guy that you beat to beat the game, the, the way that he became like that turtle, like monster thing is absolutely hilarious. All right. He was actually uh, intended to be an ox, right? Like a giant, like big ox. But the guy who originally sketched it and then gave it to the like gave it to the artists, they thought it looked like a turtle. So they thought they were supposed to be drawing this like turtle thing when in actuality it was supposed to be this big ox. But they liked the rendering so much, they liked the drawing so much that they kept it. And and even today it is, you know, it is he's still used in some iteration in the exact same way that he was in this original Mario game. All right, but uh, there you have it, guys. Thanks so much. Make sure that you like, subscribe, ring that bell so you get notified of all of our games. Uh, we'll be back soon, and I will do a redemption video where I beat this game, okay? I've, I've beat this game hundreds of times in my life, and I, and I failed you today, okay? My apologies. I'll ask for forgiveness, and, um, you know, I will do a redemption video okay but join us next time for our next classic game and all the other videos that we're posting make sure that once again you like subscribe and ring that bell all right we'll talk to you guys later but i i i don't know how to end these things so i still abide by i don't